Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's a quick turnaround, so we need to get Saturday out of our out of our heads in in a way, learn from it, and um, yeah, move on to the week because it's going to be a tough game on Wednesday. And yeah, we need to get ready for it. But I think everyone's in high spirits today, just wanting to forget about it and just put in a good performance on Wednesday. Yeah, um, I think uh, definitely we can take a lot of confidence from the second half against them. I think first half was a bit, um, yeah, we just uh, we probably weren't ourselves in a way, but we still caused them problems. And then the second half, I think there was only going to be one winner. Um, if there was more time played, I think we definitely would have went on to win it. But yeah, it was uh, it was um, it was definitely one of them where I felt like we deserved to win. And yeah, obviously we didn't, but I think yeah, that gives us confidence going into Wednesday. Yeah. I'm just curious what it's like um, coming here and, and getting adjusted to all the travel. And yeah. Um, to be fair, Atlanta wasn't too bad because it was just a short flight. But um, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm obviously I'm, I know what to expect. It's going to be uh, long trips. But um, yeah, I think as long as you do your recovery, it's, it's no different to playing at home. I think it's um, obviously Atlanta's a bit different with the artificial indoor. It was a, it was a bit of a different away day. I think for everyone, not just myself, but. Um, yeah, uh, for me, for me, I I enjoy playing away. I enjoy going to different stadiums and playing at these places. So, yeah, Wednesday will be no different. I think it's going to be um, a good atmosphere. Obviously, there's a lot of expectation on the game, and yeah, I think we're all going to be ready. Awesome. We'll move uh, to the Zoom. Katie and Brad, do you all have anything for Sam? Hi, Sam. I'm Katie. I'll be on the sideline for Wednesday. It's Hiya. nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask you um, specifically about uh, just getting to know some of your teammates. You've been here a little while now, and I yeah. know not a lot of time necessarily training because of all of these quick turnarounds, um, but the time that you've had, who do you feel like you've connected the most with both on and off the field? Um, I think on the field, it's uh, me and Hanny have formed a good relationship. I think I like, obviously, Shaf, Fafa when they play up there as well. Um yeah, especially in the League Cup games, I think that was good for myself to kind of get into a relationship with them and build going into the league. Obviously, Saturday was a it was a hard one, but I think going forward, yeah, we're definitely confident that we can form good relationships up there. So, um, yeah, that's a positive. And uh, off the field, I haven't had time to do too much with everyone. Everyone's been really nice. Uh, I've got Lawrence, who's, uh, who's from Bolton. So he's a lad that's been taking me to training. He's a nice lad. Um, but yeah, everyone seems to be really, really good, and they've um, they've welcomed me in, and it's uh, it's it's not easy moving countries, but I think everyone's been really, uh, yeah, really good. So um, specifically going back to you mentioning Hani, um, mm. uh, what is it that you appreciate most in what you see from him as a teammate on the field, and how exactly? Do you feel like you guys complement each other and, and what should I look for specifically yeah. between the two of you on Wednesday night? Um, I think I, what I like about him is he always tries to make stuff happen. If um, yeah, if things aren't going our way, he always try and look to get on the ball still and they like that. And he'll always look for me, say if there's a, a little ball in behind, maybe yeah, he, he'll, he'll keep on looking. So I think that'll be a relationship. And then obviously I'm, the longer I... I'm here. I'll get to understand his game more, what he likes, and where he 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 can score goals from. Um, yeah, and it's just about forming relationships, and it's uh, we're both competitive players. We both want to score goals, and we both want to assist each other. So I think we all want the same thing, and it's just about building that relationship. And um, yeah, I'm sure we will going forward. Is there anything you do to speed that up, or just I mean, like I understand good players know yeah. how to play with good players, and a lot of that. It mm. happens naturally. It's the universal language on yeah. the field. But is there anything to do to like speed it up? Um, I think. Time? Well, obviously, one of them. Like, I think my first goal against uh, Club America. You see, like, I, I, we barely played with each other, and I kind of knew where he was going to put the ball when he when he crossed it. And uh, it was just moments like that. I think you just naturally know what each other are going to do. But it's the it's the ones where. You're defending. It's not almost just about when you're on the ball. It's when you're defending what each other's roles are. And like I said, like it's just about building. And I think we've shown in the past few weeks that we can uh, form a good relationship. Yeah, Saturday wasn't 
great for everyone, but I think, yeah, in the past few games, I think we've definitely shown that. And, um, yeah, and I think there's any more to come from everyone. Yeah. And then last one for me is just when you specifically look at this Miami team, um, is there anything that concerns you in particular? And um, as the follow-up, what are two things that you're expecting out of yourself in this game, mm. just either your role or how you want to influence the match? Um, I think, obviously, they're a team that are playing in high on confidence at the moment. Um, rightly so. I think they've done really well. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not easy going to a team that's high on confidence. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, and we know that. But... Um, what we, I think since I've been here, we've built a solid foundation that we just want to, we can go into every game knowing we can get a result. So I think we're going to we're gonna go there confidently. And for myself, it's about just getting used to the game, getting, knowing what everyone's going to do. And I think it's it's going to come. And yeah, I've, I've shown in, in the recent weeks, when I get chances, I'll, I'll finish them. So I think for myself, just trying to get in, into the box, get chances. And um, yeah, and I know that uh, the team will be creating them for me. So... It's just up to me then. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sam. Looking Thank forward you. to seeing you again. Thank you. Sam, uh, Brad Martell, I'm producing the match on Apple Hi. TV Hi. on Wednesday. Good to meet you. Thanks for the time. That's right. Um, building on, you're talking about your own game there. You've scored in a variety of ways mm. um, already in Nashville with your head, your feet, with pace. I've seen you described as a poacher in the box. What would you describe as the best aspect of your game as a forward? Um, definitely, I think my finishing and um, just my desire. I think I'll uh, I'll always try and get on the end of things. I'll always try and get a goal from somewhere, even if it's not going our way. I'll try and get us back in in the game with like a ricochet or just a snapshot. I think I'm I'm very much. I always think I can get a goal, and um, I think that's probably my best attribute. Um, there's other attributes I wanna I wanna bring to the game where I can bring out the best in other players where. I'm linking up play. I'll uh, I'll stretch it in behind to create space for others. But um, yeah, definitely, I think uh, my desire to score and I always want to. I always want to be on the score sheet and I always want to be helping the team. Um, helping the team win. So. Uh, and then last question for me. Uh, you, you mentioned you know, sort of the whirlwind of just moving to the United States. Yeah. Um, as you're starting to travel around to some different away venues now. Yeah. Uh, were there any Cities you were looking forward to going to in the United States and was Miami. Yeah, them? Um, I visited Miami, so I've been there. Um, that will be obviously a, it will be a, a special place to go go play. Um, to be honest with you, it's 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 one of them. I'm not really sure what to expect from different cities. There's some cities that I wouldn't think that wouldn't be on the top of my list, but they might be really nice. Which what I've heard from some of the lads, but I think I'm. I'm interested to go uh, play over on the on the west coast. I think, um, yeah, it's, I haven't been over that part of what part of the world. So yeah, it's it's obviously going to be amazing for myself. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm there to do a job. But it's nice to see nice to see different places in America. And I think um, yeah, it's it's going to be special for when I do do that. All right, thanks, Sam. Thank you. Welcome to America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have one more question from Young Lennon. Sam, uh, right. you personally haven't been here that, that long, but just curious, you know, as a team, uh, you know, as you look at, at the standings right now, uh, is there a bit of increased urgency, do you, do you think, in, in terms of, you know, securing that, that playoff spot and, and mm. potentially gaining a, a home playoff game as well? Is there an increased urgency that you have to get started, you know, right away, can't afford to take too many games to, to kind of get the engine restarted for the team? Yeah, I think um, everyone wants to hit the ground running when we come back after the break. And, um, yeah, it's we know what, what we want to do. We want to get that home playoff game, and I think we can do that. And I think it's it's still in our hands to kind of do that. We, we've shown what we can do in the past month. And, um, yeah, it's, we've got another tough game, but there's also games which we know we can win, and um, we feel like we can get results out of every game coming up. So... Yeah, there is an urgency to do that, but at the same time, we we don't want to panic because we know what we're capable of. So I'm, I don't think anyone's in any any uh, frenzy to kind of get those results. But I think at the same time, we know we know what we need to do, and um, yeah, I think we're all confident lads, and think we know what we need to 
need to go in and do on Wednesday and do on Saturday. So, yeah, I think uh, looking forward, we definitely need to get results. But, yeah, in urgency, it's it's not so much rushing it because then you put pressure on yourself to do it. But it's um, it's one of them things I know we'll get the results.